Who used the engine primer? Okay, if the, if the engine is cold or if the airplane has been not operated regularly, let's say. So again, if you, you own your own airplane and you use it every couple of weeks or something like that, even if it's warm, you probably want to give it a shot of primer. The one thing about most pilots, myself included, uh, we are gadget lovers, which is a lot we fly for different reasons. One of the reasons I always love to fly is I like stuff with lots of gadgets, you know, buttons and knobs and switches and all that kind of stuff. And so pilots usually love that kind of thing. And so they love to do stuff to make the airplane work. It just feels good to, to you know, be turning things and flipping things and so on. So a lot of times people jump in the airplane and they grab the primer pump, which is a little hand pump used to replace uh, did I talk about this? I thought I did. Anyway, don't overuse the primer. If you overuse the primer, you can uh, flood the engine. And a flooded engine can lead to a, a fire when you start the airplane. So just don't overuse it. Start with one or two uh, pumps of the primer, and that's it. And if it doesn't start, maybe one more. Any more than that, you're going to see a little drip of gasoline coming out from under the airplane. And when a flooded engine is prone to backfiring, when it backfires, you get a flame about like that coming out of the exhaust and it can ignite the fuel that's puddled underneath the airplane and start a fire. I've seen at least one airplane burn to the ground from, uh, and we did have one carburetor fire out here. Luckily the gas truck was right there and, and he had an extinguisher to put the fire up. But, um, don't overuse the primer. You can always add more. Don't jump in there and pump it four or five times. And somebody, even in the summertime, I'll go out there and somebody's having trouble starting the plane. So I go running out there to see if I can help them. And I ask him, what have you done so far? Well, I primed it. Oh, really? How many times did you prime it? I don't know, four or five. And you just can't do that, especially when it's hot out. So avoid overuse of the primer. The other thing is always be sure the primer is locked. When you get done using it, push it in, turn it, and then pull on it to be sure that it's locked. If you flood the engine, what should you do? Like You have to do a flood start, which is a little out of the, I mean, I could tell you about it, but I don't have much time. So um, I'll tell you later if you want. Uh, okay, and uh, why is it a bad practice to taxi with carburetor heat on? Yeah, uh, carburetor heat drives air from an intake that's not, that doesn't go through the air filter. So it's take, take